Hello again, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of my FIFA 19 career mode. I am I'm actually not sure what episode we're on. I think it might be 8, 7 or 8 at this point, but we're going to do another live commentary. So back-to-back -back live commentaries sucks for... Uh, I mean, everybody except for me because I get to hear myself talk. So let's dive in. Uh, we're going to pick up at the end of the season here. So I gave you guys the uh, the recap, the winners from each of the leagues, uh, goal scores, all that stuff. As you see, Van Dyke celebrating a Champions League trophy uh, on the right-hand side there. Uh, so we're actually, we're just going to go straight in and, and start looking at some summer transfer, uh, summer transfer window moves. And I've tried to get some stuff set up. So why don't we go ahead and just end the season and we'll pick up from that point, all right? So I will see you guys in a sec. And we're back. Hopefully I remember to block out the silence there during the loading screen. So I've tried to set everything up so we can at least go through this relatively quickly and I'll try to keep track of the time here just so that it doesn't go on for too long uh, but we're starting the the new season are we gonna do a preseason tournament you know what it's a good opportunity to give players uh, a few matches so I'm gonna say yes I'm not gonna use the money though and here's here's the thing I'm gonna try to do this here at least to to maintain some level of realism if that's possible Let's take a look at the transfer budget. Okay, so last year we actually made a decent profit. So we made about 122 million. We didn't really use much of our transfer budget. So we have 56 million. We have 56 million this season on our transfer budget. And I'm gonna go ahead, and that's if 90% of it is put into Budget. I mean, realistically, you're probably looking at 45 million pounds, but I'm going to go ahead and do this. I'm going to put the transfer budget at zero, and we're going to try and make a profit or break even each season, because that is sort of what Southampton, that's what Southampton does very well. Uh, they, Southampton is one of the few teams that actually makes a profit on transfers, so Oh my god, I can't go and delete all these. Let's just see if there's anything important in here. Transfer market. End of season review. They weren't too pleased. Fine, we're going to have to do better this year. Yeah, I mean... It, it's, yeah. You know, if we're going to do something that doesn't get too boring, we don't start buying all these amazing players, which I, I still, I still want to do, we're going to have to put in some level of control here. So... The one level of control we're going to put in is that. We're going to try and make a profit on the transfer market. So let's see if they put up the season goals, or the expectations, I should say. Uh, FA Cup, round of 16, fair enough. Finish in a Europa League spot, yeah, we knew that was coming. Signed two youth players to the senior team in the same season they were scouted. Play them in 10 matches. I mean, that's sort of reasonable, but a lot of matches. I guess some of these are going to have to be reset? The end of the first transfer window. Or do they just do they just update these every two years now? That's weird. Anyways, I'm going to forget about that for a minute. So, let's get our youth scouts going here. So we've got our English youth scout. We're just going to send him out for nine months and have him look, look for... Let's have him look for some, you know what, any player, any player will do. Italy, we're going to have, you know what, let's start looking for some weird, oops, that is not where Italy is. Let's start looking for some cool players. So let's put in technically gifted, see what they come back with. We're going to, oops, shit. Sorry, guys. My bad, got a little excited there. Uh, let's send our scout to Belgium, and he's also going to look for technically gifted players. So, there it is. Okay. So, I foolishly recalled my Italian scout, so maybe let me skip ahead a little bit here before I forget. Hopefully he's back. Some more scouting reports are in. 
staff. Okay. All right, he's back. He's back. Send him to Italy. Nine months. Technically gifted. Okay. So our profit is minus 969. I mean, I assume the game probably figured that out and took money from our transfer budget. Cool. Okay, so what is next? All right, let's take a look at our squad here and just get an idea of what holes we need to fill. So I don't think it has, so form is good, morale. Anybody with bad morale on this team? Fraser Forster and Nathan Redman. I mean, Fraser Forster, I get. I like Fraser Forster, but he's probably gonna have to go just because we've got Angus Gunn, who uh, Saints paid a lot of money for. Uh, we've got Alex McCarthy, who's pretty good, and then we've got this youth prospect, Luca Lefebvre, who also is looking pretty good, and I think Cassati. One's an exciting prospect, and one's showing great potential. So. Yeah, he's going to have to go at least to give them an opportunity to play. And we're going to have to put some players on the... Let's go out on loan. But anyway, so we're going to look at... Actually, let's do this. So this guy, we might as well go through this list, start doing the loans and all that stuff. Harry Lewis, you can go out on loan. Fair enough. Frazier Forster, you know what? I'm gonna add, add him to the transfer market. I don't expect to get a ton of money for him. Lefebvre, Cassade, both of these will be on the loan list. Jack Rose, also contract expiring 12 months. He can go on loan list. We're gonna have to recall him though. Jan Valeri, first of all, let's sign him to a new contract. His current current wage is 4,300. So I'm gonna start him off at. What do I do this? Maybe 8,500 is a good bump up. Don't go higher than 27. 13,000. All right, five-year deal and a release clause of 4 million. Ah, God. All right. So he's got a release clause in there. Who else is on? So Cedric, Cedric's got to go. So Cedric's out. He's got less than 12 months on his contract, so he needs to go. I don't want to put him on the transfer market or transfer list just because of the, the hit to value. Vestergaard, Jack Stevens. I like Jack Stevens, but I haven't seen him improve much. Wesley Hood. Maya Yoshida, his contract expiring in 12 months. I don't think there's huge value there. I'll keep him around. Alfie Jones can probably go on the loan list. Bertrand, I'm going to keep. Sam McQueen, this guy can probably go on the loan list. Target will keep. Jake Boken's loan list. Hopefully the loans work now. Dylan Lewis, I don't know if this guy was... This looks like somebody we would have scouted. He's got a face. Harrison Reed, Keith Vermeu, JWP, Tyreek Johnson, contract expiring in 12 months. We'll have to figure out what to do with him. Jake Hesketh, who actually has a face scan. That's cool. Uh, send him out on the own. Jordy Classy. Uh, I'm going to add him to the transfer list. Not much value there, and we need to clear some room on this squad. Aiden Morgan, home list. Mario Lamina will keep. Nathan Redman, if we get an offer for Redman, I'm okay with that. Uh, Elianessi, Foul, Slattery, he's 12 months. I like Seward Armstrong. Sims, good. I'm probably going to sign him to a new deal. So why don't we do that? Figure out what his salary is. 10,500 pounds. So what do we start him off? that let's start off at 12,000 don't go higher than 33 so we want 17 three years yeah that's fine marcus barnes he's got one year left on his deal as well so i'm not going to put him out my game just froze actually try and exit out there and back how do people do 
do these live commentaries for so long. I agree. Thanks for listening, guys. If anybody made it this far, congratulations. Uh, Obafemi, you're not going anywhere because I like you. Shane Long is retiring at the end of the season. Wow, he's only 32. I like Shane Long. He can retire here. Charlie Austin, 12 months left on his contract. Uh, he's probably got to go. Not going to put him on the transfer list. Let's see what we get as an offer. Rito Carrillo. I don't know what this guy's pace is like. Did he play with him last year? Attributes. No. Too slow as a striker for us. And where's the finishing? 76 finishing. That's at least Charlie Austin 79. Shane Long 70, though. Know. Uh, Sam Gallagher I'd like to have him get better here. He's still got a contract. Okay. All right. So I, I'm going to say we focus on... So after looking at that, we need a new striker because if you look at this, this is not great. I would like a winger if we can, and um, I would like a I'd like a right back. I'm not a big fan of Cedric. I think he could do a job, but if we can replace Cedric, so right back striker would be my my sort of two key looks here. So here's a look at what we got on the. On my transfer list Ryan gold you all know I've been this is I mean the guy's a Scottish Messi I just want him on the team we're gonna go after him I like him you don't see him in career modes very much anymore so I don't even think his potential is very high I don't know what it is but it can't be all that great but I just like him it'd be fun to play so let's let's try and uh, let's try and see what we can do here see if we can get something going on Oh, there's that background music. We're going to offer a transfer fee for him. What's his value? 4.8. So why don't we offer 4.5? 4.6. 4.6. Not great. 5.7 million and a sell-on clause? How about no sell on clause? And I will give you 5.5 million. You're getting a pretty good deal here. Yeah, I didn't really negotiate all that hard for him. Uh, let's negotiate. I don't want to leave that to the delegate. Uh, let's say rotation. Will he, will he take it? Hey, all right, Ryan Gold takes the rotation. Four-year deal? I'm okay with that. No release clause. His current wage is 8,300, so I'm gonna offer him 10,000. See what he does. Oh, come on! You were making 8,300. Obviously, I'm going to go back and pursue this later. <laughs> That's not a great start to this first episode. So Ryan Gold finds our, our offer insulting at 10,000 pounds. I don't know how much he improved last year, but I thought that was pretty fair. So, okay. We're going to move on there. Kenny Lala is somebody I'm looking at. I'm not 100% convinced on that just yet. I don't think Matt Doherty leaves Wolves. Aaron Mui is somebody I'd like to go after too. James Taverner. Just, yeah, he moved from Rangers to Saint Etienne, so he's not going to move again. I'm surprised they actually. Oh, he won't move again. Okay, all right. Uh, DeAndre Yedlin could be good just for his pace. Think about that one. Daniil Henry, 66 overall. I picked some Canadians and some Toronto FC players for the local uh, the local blood, but obviously they're not going to fit into the squad. Singh is a Canadian player as well. Uh, he's not particularly good. Ashton Morgan. Russell Tybert. Michael Bradley. Hey, Michael Bradley moved to Fulham. Interesting. That's, that's not a bad pickup if they're still... I forgot if they got relegated or not. 
We'll have to take a look and see who who got promoted, because I know the stats or the standings, the the table changes, I should say. Um, all right, I'm gonna take him off the short list, and of course it goes all the way back to the bottom. Jason, this guy looks decent, right midfielder, Spanish. Alessandrini, also decent. He's 30 though, getting a little bit older. Sabasa Endo, not great. Scotty Arfield, a Canadian. Not the quickest, playing for Rangers. Be fun to have him. Osorio, if he has any potential left. Alfonso Davies. Now he's playing at Bayern, he's quick. He's a 75 overall. Do you think they'll loan him out? Let's see. Nope. All right, Ryan Frazier, was, he was out on loan last year for Bournemouth, so I don't know if he just doesn't fit into their lineup, but let's see if we can get him on loan. That'd be interesting. No, of course not. Okay. Ryan Gold said, no thank you. Joseph Martinez, this guy would be interesting. I think he's he's gotta be, I mean, we don't have that. 35 million. We haven't even sold any players yet. Alfredo Morelos. So he plays for Rangers. This guy has got a temper. I might add him. Wule. If we can take him on loan, that'd be interesting. No. Okay. Bobby Reed. All right. Sorry, guys. Again, I'm getting used to this uh, live commentary stuff, so that's got to be a little bit boring for you. Uh, but let's see if we start getting some transfer offers. Iceland. You. We haven't heard back from you. They're the only ones. I don't think I want to coach Iceland. You can't scout. I want to. I want to manage a. I want to manage a national team where I can actually scout players. Sevilla offering 15.4 million for El Unesi. He's worth 19, and they think we can get almost double his value. Let's see. If Sevilla wants to give us 30 million pounds for him, I would, I would do it. Hey, they got a real manager. Good stuff. All right, let's see what they say. 30, 30 million pounds. <laughs> let's compromise. We'll give you nothing close to that. No thanks. How about we stick with my high ball offer? I'll lower it to 28 million pounds. What do you say? Let's compromise. Okay, all right, you're right. Let me let me give you a break here. 27 million. I don't really care for El Messi on this club. You're pissed off, obviously, because we are on completely different pages. So Kane Ramsey wants to play in our next match. Could probably do that. Let's put in the young guns here, so... Ramsey, you can play. Alfie Jones. Actually, let's take Vestergaard out. Alfie Jones, you can play. Luca Lefebvre. No, Angus Gunn. I'll let him play. Sam McQueen, you can play. Young guns, man. Shane Long, let's take him out. Where are the youth academy players that we got? Are they just, man, they're just two goalkeepers and a midfielder, eh? Interesting. All right, then. Stuart Armstrong, you stay in. So let's see what Sophia and Buffal does. And let's give Obafemi a run out there. Against Bologna for the Champions Trophy first round, and it's a 2-1 victory. Stuart Armstrong with both goals for Southampton. All right, good start with the young kids. Might have something here. No problem, Kane. No other offers, eh? Jeez Louise. Okay, I guess we're gonna have to just go through this, guys. Sorry. Okay. Who's tired here?
second match. This one against PSV. And a two-all draw. This time, James Ward-Prowse with both goals. Irving Lozano. That's a guy I'd like to add. You see him in Ultimate Team all the time, but you don't see him in any career modes. Let's see. Let's see. That's, I mean, this is the type of player that, if Southampton could afford him, they would add him because, I mean, they love finding great players from the air to BC. And they like those young guys. So we got a transfer offer for Bednarek from Brighton and a loan offer for Aiden Morgan. Uh, I mean, I'll accept that. That's fine. Bednarek. They're offering 8.7 million. For now, I think we need the depth there, so I'm going to keep them. That's not the type of player I'm looking to get rid of. I mean, where are the offers for? Oh, well, there you go. Huddersfield offering a 3.24 Forster. All right, let's see if we can get a little extra out of him. I'm saying 3.6. Sweet. Ah, no! <laughs> what am I doing? Oops, meant to negotiate that, but I accepted it. At least it's above his value. So Fraser Forster is our first player out. He he was a great great player. I really like him uh, in real life, but uh, somebody had to go in that goalkeeping group. All right, final match of the group stage here in the Champions Trophy. And actually, let me make sure the squad is rested. So let's put Hesketh back in, and we're gonna put in. We're gonna try and get through this round. So let's put in Mario Lamina, and we're gonna give Bednarik an opportunity. Give Target a shot, and we'll give Kane Ramsey a shot. Angus Gunn, man, yikes! He is not doing great. Let's see. Let's give Luca Lefebvre a shot. All right, final match of the group stage. Let's see what happens here. Southampton, 3-0 victory. Two more for Armstrong. Kane Ramsey delivers. Wow, not even close. Okay, so we move on to the next round here. We've got a loan offer for another offer. Bournemouth offered 3.4 million. And a loan offer for Sam Gallagher. And I can't accept the uh, Sam Gallagher, yeah, why not? Let's see if he can get more playing time. Morgan loaned out. Sam McQueen loaned out to Fenerbahce. Yeah, let's do it. These are all players I'd like to see grow, but they're not going to get time on this squad. Okay. So who needs a break here? You know what? I'm going to leave the same roster in and see what happens against Ibar. They pull it off. Stuart Armstrong, another goal. I have a really good feeling about this guy. Five goals, leading it. Holy smokes. And the final, PSV. Obviously gonna praise my players, because they are doing tremendously well. Got an extra 2.2 million in the budget. Morgan agreed to his loan. What's our transfer budget look like? Have they adjusted it accordingly? 3.52, where, where did that money come from? we sell somebody? I'm really confused. Maybe that's the extra money from the uh, tournament. Alright. Sam Gallagher loaned out as well. Alright. Same, same lineup. Let's see what they do. Marcus Rashford heads to PSG. Holy smokes.
And in the final 2-0 loss to PSV, not surprised there. McQueen loaned out. We got an offer for Yordi Classy. Fraser Forster. Okay, well, yeah, Bournemouth. I couldn't say yes to you. Champions Trophy. That's a bit harsh. All right, you're already classy. So we got an offer for Josh Sims. No, I don't want to sell Sims. I like him. I'm going to reject that offer. Hurry up, Forster. Accept it. We're getting 7.9 million for classy. I mean, it's pretty good, even though his value is 8.5. I'm going to try and negotiate that with Lester. Let's see if we can at least get above his transfer value. Let's say 8.6. I'd be fine with that. All right. 8.6 for Yordi Classy. So we are at least putting something in the bank here. Good stuff. Fraser Forster sold. So 2.3 million going into the transfer budget. Sadly, yeah, we'll let him go out on loan. Great. So I don't think we need to loan out any others. Classy sold. We get 6.5 million. Good stuff. Alfie Jones, you can go out on loan as well. At least these, well, I was about to say these loan offers aren't falling apart, but that one sure did. Don't know why River Plate is coming in for an offer for Hesketh. Don't know why he'd accept it, but anyways, let's see. Another loan offer for Cassade from Lucerne, I think in the Swiss League. I'll accept that offer, one year deal. Jones gets loaned out. Hesketh loaned out. He refused another loan offer? Alright, let's see. Any good scouting? Reject. Looks like a gamer. Let these guys get scattered a little more. I mean, we're getting close to the beginning of the season here. I'm gonna, you know what? Okay. We've got some money in the bank at least. I don't know why my players are not going. We've got 8.5 million. So, I guess I'm gonna have to put some of these guys on the transfer market? Good grief. Alright, um... Where's our... Where do we do the budgeting? Finances, okay. No. Uh, squad, squad. Okay. Shane Long. No, I won't transfer him. I'm gonna add Charlie Austin to the transfer list. And I think that's it. Everybody else should be fine. Maybe Cedric I'll, I'll add to the transfer list as well. Okay. So let's go after my boy Ryan Gold. Divock Origi. Did he just move to Wolves? Fredo Morelos. Decent pace. Okay finishing. Worth 20 million though. That is a lot. I think I have to go with somebody like Dwight Gale. He's quick. Decent finishing. 
comfortable in the league. I doubt we could... I'm not going to try and loan in Hudson Adoy. Okay, let's try this again. It's worth 4.8 million, guys. Can we get a different result? Oh, for 5 million. Okay, fine. 5.3 million. That's good. I think that's less than we had to pay last time. Now, let's make sure we don't insult Ryan Gold. He only wants three years, eh? I'm gonna say four years. Tell me what wage you want, Ryan. Fine, we'll double your wage. We'll go to 17,000 pounds. How about that? If you get pissed off at this, I don't know. Fine. Okay, makes sense. He wants a lot. Jeez Louise. Alright, so at least we've made our first transfer of the season. Signed a top player? I don't know how accurate that is, FIFA, but alright. Loan offer for Dylan Lewis? Yeah, we'll accept. And... Villarreal offering 20 million for... Nothing good in Italy here. I'll sign both of these guys. Oops. Anybody that should be cut? Not yet. Alright, so we'll leave both of them to get scouted. 20 million for Villarreal for Lamina. I mean, if they want to give us... They're saying he's worth up to 32 million. If they want to give us stupid money for him, I'll take it, but I'm not going to sell him for 30 or 20 million. We need somebody in that position. Yeah, well, there you go. So they're not going to give us stupid money, so that's off the table. Jack Stevens, I have no desire to sell him, even though. The offer is for more than he's worth. We can reject that. Getting close to the beginning of the season. Finally, an offer comes in for Charlie Austin. Just below his market value. Goes to Ajax. That'd be interesting. If he wants to go to Ajax, I mean, he probably can do a lot there. Let's see if we can squeeze a little more out of them. Say 7.1 million. Why not? We're getting peanuts for all these players. Alright. So Charlie Austin is off and running. How many goalkeepers do we have? Because I don't know if I want to loan out Luca Lefebvre here. We got a lot. Because Cassati keeps refusing offers, but Lefebvre is almost ready to play. Interesting. Alright. I mean, look, I'll loan him out. That's fine. Where do I go to loan my players? How do I not remember how to play this game? Good grief. Few offers. Oh, it's the transfer hub. Wow. Hey, Gank! He actually went to Belgium. That's pretty good. So we are just getting ready to start the season at Middlesbrough, and we get a loan offer for Ward Prowse, a transfer offer for Cedric from West Ham. We, we're gonna have to find somebody to play that position. Then. We're gonna be doing our business late. Ibar want a loan, Ward Prowse for a year. Uh, 
not not gonna happen. Offer for Cedric below his market value. I mean, he's only got one year left on, on his deal anyway, so I'm not surprised by that. But let's see if we can get him up to 8.3 million or something. Every, every million counts here. Give us 8.3 million. So let's see how we're doing here in budget. I don't think the Charlie Austin deal has gone through. But we're at a 15 million dollar profit. So we have 6 million left in the transfer budget after acquiring Ryan Gold. So that's 6.3, and then we probably have another 13 or so million coming in. So that'll be 20. So with 20, we might not be able to get a striker, but we might be able to get a good right back or you know, a mediocre striker. But let's see if we can get maybe Dwight Gale on loan. Not interested in loaning him. What about Morelos? Not interested in loaning him. Edward? Not interested in loaning him. Nobody. I'm not interested in loaning anybody. What about... Shea Adams from Stad Ren. No. So we're going to have to buy a striker if we want something here. All right. So guys, sorry there wasn't a ton that happened, but uh, an exciting exciting episode at least in cleaning out some of the players on the team as we see Darmian going to Bournemouth. Why don't we take a look at the transfer market so far this year? What are the big deals? Hummels, 54.7 million going to Juve. Rashford, 48.3 million to PSG. Kedo Balde, 38 to the Bundesliga. I mean, that's, yeah, that's, I guess. Is Balde on loan from Monaco to Inter this year? I didn't even realize that. Sergio Roberto, PSG making a big splash, holy. Mendy's out, Lopez, Rodrigo. Rodrigo's a good pickup for Lyon. And Mustafi is back in Germany. Some interesting moves here. I like this one. Spurs sell Ben Davies to Napoli and pick up Acuna from Sporting. That's good, they actually replaced the player. Lashinach going to Roma. Lovren is out! He's going to Crystal Palace. That makes far more sense than Liverpool. And Tammy Abram to Hoffenheim. Alright guys, so I'm going to wrap up this episode because Lord knows it's been pretty long and we'll get started with the first match of the season in the next episode. Alright guys, take care. See you later.